You're still lingering like the old cologne that you wore. Something about you is pulling me back, and I'm holding. Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Um, gorgeous, just like you, with my jazz hands. Okay, it's right here. Before the eclipse, we were really working our ASS off. Okay, because eclipse is coming May, and it takes time for shipping for you guys if you get it right. The crystal diffuser, the first of its kind, original. Okay, um, this is where you're gonna see it first. Um, so what we did is like you know how you put the wood here, right? It's a diffuser. Um, so we put the crystals inside it and then it brings that aroma into your place without the fear because some people are scared to leave their candle, totally understand that. Um, so now you can just leave it and invite the energy um, to your place. Okay, so we got the, okay, we got the, um, we got the citrine over here for abundance. This is the sea salt. And don't get upset because I always, you know, push my items before I start because that's how I make a living. So no one's complaining when you're at work, right? So let me do my work. Thank you. Okay. So I got the miracle. Okay. Rosemary sage. And nobody tells you how to do your work, right? You don't want that in the office. Got it. So don't tell me what I do. Okay. <laughs> Rosemary sage over here with the miracle. And then you got fluoride. Okay. So check it, it's in, the, it's in the website right now. I only made a few, I already cleansed it. I smudged it this morning because it comes in a box like that. So I, I cleansed it already. Rainwater for healing. This is a uh, prenite. Moonstone for protection. Okay. Um, crystal diffuser. I choose white because people normally go for the darker labradorite, uh, but you can put tourmaline in diffuser. It's gonna melt. But I choose, um, I feel like I want it calming, kind of soothing protection. It feels like I'm coming up with a perfume line, okay? It has four notes, okay? And then for love, lavender driftwood. Mm -hmm. Ah, amazing. Mm -hmm. So, do indulge, Libra. Okay, so that's that, okay? So, because it's a perfect time for you to manifest, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna talk on the side here. The decks are here, so just in case you're wondering, okay? The tarot decks that is already in front of you, okay? I'm just telling my, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So here it is. Let's see what's going on. Okay, okay. Wisdom. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. I like this because is it Wednesday today? Yeah, it is Wednesday. Okay. So Libra, this is the magical spell card. It's available also. You three love that me. On a Wednesday, which is a Wednesday. With a waxing moon, let wisdom come and be renewed. It doesn't rhyme, but I'll take it, whatever. <laughs> it's what it is. But Mercury rules Wednesday, Mars is Tuesday, Monday is moon, Thursday is Jupiter, Friday is Venus, Saturday is Saturn, Sunday is Sun. Okay. Now, why did I tell you that? Because it says Wednesday. So I just gave you what are the days are ruled by. That's what, you know, that Saturn and Venus are best friends. That's why after uh, Venus, it's Saturn. Mm. But Saturn and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, those are conflict together. <laughs> okay. Um, but that's why they say, right, Saturday is actually the start. Of, Sunday is the start of the week, not Monday. But, you know, the Western people confuse themselves. Mm -hmm. Sunday, Surya, is when it, start, it starts. Okay. And Saturn is where it ends. Okay. Saturday. Um, you're, um, you're probably trying to understand different things in your life right now. People ask why I joke, you know, because joke, you know, laughter is like that. Those are wisdom words. You just have to learn how to accept it because there's hidden words in it, hidden meaning. Okay. I don't joke. I make, I make you feel good. Mm -hmm. Laughter is mercury. And you know what they say? Laughter is the best medicine. So you think I'm just joking here and making fun of myself? No. I'm trying to make you feel good and be healed. Exactly. So imagine me, I'm being serious right now. Isn't that boring? And you think I'm just joking. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. You think I have the energy every day? 
I force myself okay, to make jokes. Okay. Because I need to, the laughter. Every time you laugh, I make money. <laughs> Appreciation, second chakra, healer of ages, the garden and the gate. What? I do. Okay. I do. See? You love my product because it brings happiness and joy to your life. You're welcome. You can thank me later. Okay. Appreciation for the Libra, second chakra, healer of the ages and garden of the gate. I feel like you're wondering how to cross to the other side. You're not dying. It's more of like, how can I make my life better? I love that. Mm -hmm. How can I improve myself? Good. Keep going that path. Yes. We're always trying to improve ourselves. Victory, the sun. Okay. You see that? Um, I know I told you guys before that sun is debilitated in Libra. Don't be scared. There are other people who has worse. Okay. <laughs> Conjunct, stellium, four planets, you know. You're just weird with the sun. Other people have four planets in one house. That one, you need an astrologer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but it's nothing scary, you know. It's not scary. Um, nothing is scary here in this life. Okay. Mm. You know what's scary? Okay. You not fitting in your jeans. Have you ever had that? Oh, yeah. I'm scared. Okay. And I thought stellium was scary. I thought eclipse was scary. The genes was judging me. Healer of the ages with a uh, financial constraint. You're trying to heal. Wounds of the past can be generational karma with your wealth. Don't you know that being poor is a generational karma? There's nothing wrong with it. Okay? Um, but it takes okay, um, generation after generation. So it's, it's up to you right now to break the cycle of being poor. Okay? If you're saying that. Um, or being unfortunate. It's up to you to change the karma of the family. Does it make sense? You do have a, ch a choice, okay? Um, I'll, I'll share a little bit, tidbit of a story here. Um, when I was, okay, but this is more of about, um, I was doing charity work, it was New Year. I was so surprised because it was, we were helping out the homeless and feeding, the, you know, feeding people who was on the street. And people who, okay, who were on the street knew me. It was crazy. So it became about me, okay? No! It was really like, like, wow, I'm so surprised that people have access to what I do, which I want that, okay? Because I want it to be the many. That's why Saturn is exalted in Libra. So kind of, you know, one of my placements. <laughs> yeah. Exalted in Swati. Uh, exalted has to come to the specific degree. Yes. It's still going to affect. Mm -hmm. So I do talk a lot here. Mm -hmm. I'm like a drunken master. There's a lot of wisdom inside this. You just have to see through it. Because mm -hmm. the card was wisdom. So I need to ex uh, show you guys what it really means. Wisdom is to absorb what is being taught. Okay? Because if you cannot absorb it and remember it, then you're just dumb. I am sometimes like that. Okay? <laughs> Page of Wands. <ones. laughs> <laughs> and the Nine of Pentacles. You're confident. You exude every, every part of your body right now. Is all about conquering and making a success story out of your life, whatever age you're at. You're trying to break, you know, things that your family has brought to you, which means like misfortune. Good. You're trying to learn to let go by traveling and exploring yourself first. You're trying to appreciate and be kind to yourself. Magician. You're a person right now who feels like nothing is impossible. As long as I upload every day, Libra, there's nothing impossible, okay? Because if I can do it, then you can, right? So your dreams is just, what do you call it? At arm's length or you can reach this. Got it? You have the tools. What are the tools when I say with the magician? You got the cups, the swords, the wands. You have the passion, right? You have the drive. You have the love. All this can make your dreams come true. Nine of Pentacles, yes? Um, but, of course, just like any other human being, when we deal with heartache, it becomes an obstacle, right? Because there's pain, you have to recover, you're doing everything to recover from a breakup. The King of Cups, especially if it was a Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> okay. With the King of Cups over here, it feels like you can't, you, you're trying to understand. Again, um, you fall for someone and they break your heart. Okay. I feel like during the time of the cavemen, that wasn't a thing. Yeah, who breaks a heart? Nothing. It's inside, right? It's just a marketing thing 
where movies, you don't really break. You created that illusion that without this person, I am broken. You hurt me. No, the heart is there. It's whole. It's intact. Mm -hmm. It's an illusion. Snap out of it. Okay. You got a seven of wands because the more you, you hold on to this, the more it becomes difficult and it's challenging. You got to face the truth that it's over with the death card. Transform, rise like a phoenix, basically. Okay. For me, I like extra rice. <laughs> it helps me. Sometimes if I'm having a not so good day, one cup of rice does it for me. Did you know that the rice is moon? It's very soothing. But it has to be with some lugao, like a little bit soupy, you know, like a congee. That's good. If you have a kind of like a rahu kind of thing moment, you're confused. It will pacify that confusing. Yes. And it's just rice soup. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, in my country, it's actually the, you know, when you don't have money, you only eat lugao. Yeah. And sometimes it's just the first broth. Like, I forgot what it's called. Am. Yeah. Very nutritious for the babies, they say death card but it comes it soothes so you know how rich people have foie gras that doesn't cure you mm -mm. but lugao does okay <laughs> hmm. just the rice it will try it boil a little bit rice with a little bit water a little bit soupy and then it will nurture you if you're having some difficult day mm. it's true try it death card um with the uh, four of cups and you've been crying your your heart out Okay, you've been trying to ease the pain. It's not going away. I'm going to tell you, the pain will not go away until you accept it. Do not, the idea of deflecting the pain makes it worse. So accept the pain and then it will vanish. Okay, because you are, I feel like you are having some sort of like, oh my God, so I don't know what to do with my life. Okay, <laughs> eat some rice. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune right here, things will turn around at some point. Yes, Jupiter always saves the day. Yes, mm-hmm. Is the most auspicious one? Well, it depends. I've learned from another astrology, another astrologer, Venus, okay, in another um, um, text, is one of the most benefic, if you translate the Sanskrit, but I'm just learning, I'm just listening gossip, basically. <laughs> it's not gossip, it's a teacher, okay? But you're telling yourself right now, I want more things in my life to be better. Good, do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Accept the change, move on, chariot, good. Um, you might be going back to school right here. You might explore some artwork right here. You might venture into business. And I know it's really a struggle for you because I feel your pain. I see it here. Mm -hmm. Especially that if you were married. I don't know how people can really recover from divorce. I just don't know. You're a trooper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you've been divorced three times, you're a general. <laughs> I salute you for that, okay? Four of Wands right here with a chariot. You feel like it's time for me to move on and have a new beginning. Your life is going to be good with a Six of Wands, with a Four of Swords. There is a moment that this person has been thinking about you, but are they going to reach out? I don't know. I think there's silence between the two of you. For you, you're just trying to be more positive. Mm -hmm. And you're doing the resting Libra face, the High Priestess. I don't want to talk to them um do you care i feel like you do you're holding on to this i talk myself out if i'm in the middle of a breakup i will not let go until we talk okay <laughs> talk it out okay but you're suffering in silence that's something though you're not burning the karma burn the karma how do you burn the karma exhaust yourself do everything until you did you know don't don't not, none of my advice will help you until you burn that karma. Let go. But I still love. Love then. Don't let go. Does it make sense? I will push you to get like, here, here, here. You know. <laughs> because you're suffering in silence. It's becoming an obstacle to what you're manifesting in your life. Okay, then we'll see in the extended. Link down there in the description box below, Libra. Libra, again, I only made a few of this. So do check it out. Um, before the eclipse, get your rituals ready, get your crystal grid ready, okay? Um, because it's the first eclipse of the year and it's happening in Scorpio. We'll talk about it more in some other time, but I just want you guys to, first to buy my product. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys again. Bye. They feel that you could be the one that got away.
it just didn't work out. The one that got away that didn't work out. Okay, I like that. Okay.